Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number one of a brand new league, the Gala Defenders League. And uh, it's going to be a really, really interesting season. Uh, we had a draft chock full of snipes uh, and chock full of a lot of, of funny moments. But regardless, we're here. It's week one. I did the best that I could with the team that I uh, had. And we're actually going to be facing week one against Liv, aka the person who sniped me two rounds in a row and sniped me out of the one mon that I'm terrified of this week being the Scyther. Okay, so here we see the Haxorus, Alakazam, Zerud, Type Null, Steelix, and Hatterene. So no Scyther, no Hitmontop. No Hitmontop is really crazy to me. No Blastoise is actually pretty crazy to me. No Blastoise is actually really, really crazy to me. Actually, I'm going to attempt a screenshot of this team really quickly. And hopefully I don't just completely botch my time here. But I do like this new interface here. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay. Part of me just wants to lead off with the Cinderace. Oh, in terms of G-Max, her G-Max is the Hatterene. Um, I don't know. Part of me wants to lead off... Hmm. I honestly don't even know what I want to lead off with. I'm probably just going to lead off with the Cinderace. It seems like an easy enough lead. I could also lead off with the... No, I think so. Sil... <laughs> I, I almost said Sylvain. Man, Cinderace hard looks like Sylvain. Like, you can't tell me otherwise. It's so... I'm so proud of myself for that in particular in the game. But uh, regardless, not entirely fire in the game this time, but we'll see. Okay, um, I haven't battled in like a month, like dang near a month, which is wild to me because usually I have so much league stuff going on at the same time, and uh, it's been kind of a death period for me. But I'm excited to kind of get back into everything. Uh, it does lead off with the type null. It does lead off with the type null. Now I came really, really close to packing, um, to packing Super Fang on this Cinderace. Uh, but I think I honestly just want to U-turn out here. I think I honestly just want to U-turn out here. Easy U-turn target might just be the the wheezing here. I think I might just do that. Actually, I just realized no Alolan Marowak. No Alolan Marowak is one of the biggest things I could think of right now. But, regardless... I think, I think Toxic Spikes would be moderately free. Obviously, could bring in the Hatterene, which would be unfortunate, but um, that would just have to be something that I deal with. I avoid a turn one Thunder Wave, so that's interesting. I'm glad I didn't stay in and try to high jump kick or anything like that. But the Hatterene could come in. If the Hatterene comes in, then that's really problematic. If the Hatterene comes in, that's really problematic. So I'm trying to think, right? So he probably definitely thought that I that I would bring my Obstagoon here. I should make a move here. I really want to hard predict the Hatterene coming in. I'm going to click Sludge Wave. I think at least for the first one, I think I, I want to test it out. And, it and if if he ends up staying in, then I would 100% just go for Toxic Spikes on the next turn. But I really can't imagine the Hatterene not coming in here. Uh, Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not even the Hatterene. Okay, that's still... It's going to be solid damage, I think. But... I'm trying to think here. Well, I mean, that's that's definitely some damage. And I don't have a great answer to this thing. Like, I really don't have the best answers to this thing. I could honestly just go into... I think I might just go into... Um, this Necrozma here. It's a super defensive Necrozma, and honestly, I don't even think I have rocks on this team. Um, but I just had so many things going on that I really wanted to accomplish with this team that uh, it was really difficult to find space for. And obviously, the Steelix is going to be an issue because it's going to get it's going to get rocks up. So I, I mean, I haven't brought the Court Change, which I almost never want to bring um, because it always feels awkward to bring. And I think I think I, I, in my entire UBL season, I brought Court Change like once, um, and I actually did get it off su successfully. But it was still. Um, not kind of uh, the best situation. I think. Now I think. Even on a regular Alakazam. Regular. Um. 
Yeah, it looks like Heat Wave does a little bit more, so I can just go for that. I Um Yeah, it doesn't look like I can ever just KO it. But I think that would ultimately be fine. Um Because I because I think what this means is that I should be able to take any single hit, hit this thing back, and then worst case scenario is I can bring in my my Serena. Yeah, I don't pick up the KO, which is super unfortunate. Actually, I might have been just better off going... It, 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 obviously, I would have had to have known that I would that I was going to get um, the free turn there. But if I had called... If I had called that that nasty plot there, then I could have gone into Serena and gotten the freest of U-turn in my career. The freest U-turn of my career. Um, right there. But unfortunately, this does mean that I will have to give up my Necrozma. But it does mean that I will not to lose to Alakazam. So that is going to be... Uh, something going on. That's definitely going to be something that's happening. And it's obviously going to reveal Scarf Serena. But I don't think I mind that a whole heck of a lot. I don't think I mind that a whole heck of a lot. Um, Serena is still going to be a big, big issue for her team overall. And it just puts on a lot of pressure just in general. So, uh, man, again, I could have made an, an incredible play if I knew that the Nasty Plot was coming. If I knew that the Nasty Plot was coming. But, I guess that's just kind of how it goes. I guess that's just kind of how it goes. Now, I can go into... I mean... Hmm. I, I probably should just go into... I probably should just go into... I could just go into Noctowl, honestly. Right? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do that. The the Steelix might come in. The Steelix would be problematic. I can nasty plot up on the Steelix. I realistically, she would want to click Stealth Rocks the first time. And if I can call that right, then I can nasty plot up on the Steelix. I can get a Hypnosis off. Maybe get a Blunder Policy off, and then and then um, things are gonna happen, dude. I think the only way that the Steelix really takes a a plus two Hurricane is if it's like max special defense. I think I. would I think I was talking this over with Randy, Randy HLD, and, um, just these Steelix, um, Calx actually goes into, actually goes into this thing. So, uh, now I have to, I have to blind Hypnosis. I have to blind Hypnosis here. I have to just see what I can do. And, I mean, I'm, I might land it, I might not, but regardless... Ugh. Okay, I, I that may or may not be banded, I'm not sure. It's Life Orbed, it's Life Orbed. Is life orbed. If it's life orbed, I think. I think Serena's. No. Well, no, if it's life orbed, it means I can get a big hit off with this thing. But it might mean that I would want to. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the, uh, the order of operations here, right? Would I want to give up the wheezing first? Um, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I think I can get some damage off with the wheezing. Um, with with Rocky Helmet, I, I'm still not entirely sure if I want to. If I want to, you could just earthquake. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, no. Th this, this is bad if he just assumes that my plan would be to... My plan would be to um, either get get a free Toxic Pike song, or, or no, this kid... Yeah, it does withdraw. I, I, I imagine... You see the Hatterene. No, it goes into Type Null. Okay. Now I definitely get up Toxic Spikes, even though the Hatterene's chilling in the back. That's next to no damage, but I don't think I mind. I don't think I mind, right now, at least. So what this means... What this means is actually that the door is really open for my Cinderace. If I can get um, some Knuckle Boosts up... If I can get some knuckle boosts up, 
Um. Now, should I get up a second layer of toxic spikes? I think I will. Um, it, this type null is super problematic because I really don't want any of my mons to get, um, to get, uh, thunder waved. Let's go for the facade, but the, <laughs> that's a crit, okay. Um, that's fair. We'll get some rocky helmet damage off. This thing could very well be rest. I do get paralyzed, which is a whole lot of fun. I'm just gonna go, yeah. I'm also running out of time. Like, I'm not doing the best on time. But I'm super curious to know if this thing is, is rest or not. We do get the second layer of spikes up. Is it worth going out into anything here? I don't think it is. I think we just get some damage. If it, if it is rest, then it's going to be rest. And there's not... Yeah, it is. Yeah, F fair enough. So, rest, sleep, talk, thunder wave, facade. Rest, sleep, talk, thunder wave, facade. This is super problem problematic because if he does let me get in my Cinderace and get out free Knuckles on this thing, then that would be huge. But if I get sl sleep talked into thunder wave, then that would be obviously awful. That would be obviously awful. I mean... I can at least try to keep this thing weakened. I can at the very least try to keep this thing weakened. What I would ideally like to do is to force this thing to have to get up another rest, and then I can maybe try to play off of that, and, um... And if I can play off of that second rest and get in my Cinderace... Oh, it, this thing isn't Sleep Talk. What's the fourth move, then? What's the fourth move? Because if this thing is weak enough where Cinderace high jump kick takes it out, then... Um... That... Is insane. That would be insane. Um... Unfortunately, Weezing won't be able to take it out here. I mean, unless I got some crazy crit, but... Um... I'm in an interesting position. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't quite know what to make of this yet. We do get the poison, which is interesting. And now he has to rest, so now I can definitely bring on my Cinderace this turn. And if he calls that and goes for a Thunder Wave, then, I don't know, Liv is just not, she is just a lord. I don't know what to say if that's the case. But if she were to click Thunder Wave right now, then I would be blown away. I think I just lose. I very well might just lose. There's a Facade, which is also interesting. And that's a lot of damage, but... Um, no, that's just bad. I thought I thought I was gonna be okay if if he stays up, but the null not going down is actually mildly better bad. Um, realistically, Sarud can't come in. Haxorus maybe. Haxorus maybe. Uh, huh. This is. Yeah, this DLX. So, can get rocks up, which means I can... How much do I really think they're gonna go get gonna go with rocks up here? But what, what would that mean that I could do? I mean, I could U-turn out into... Into Primarina. I really think you're gonna want to click rocks here. I really think you're going to want to click rocks here. But it could not even be worth it right now, right? What if it's not even worth it for them right now? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, I mean, if I call this, then... I'm somewhat of a lord, and, uh, it's, it's close to, it'd be huge if I called this correctly. If I don't, obviously, it's pretty bad, but I really, I don't know. 
I don't know. M maybe I'm overthinking it, and I. This was a bad decision. Definitely stays in. Is Chopel. It's not gonna matter. I really just want to get my plus one, and I just want to get my plus one, and um, and the sturdy break. I guess even the sturdy break doesn't even. Yeah, goes for the EQ. Yeah. Okay. That definitely didn't go the way that I wanted to, but um, it does allow me. Uh, what's left up here? The Hatterene, the Zarud, and... Yeah. I think we have to. I'm not sure. That could have been really bad. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gone into... I mean, realistically... I maybe should have just gone into... Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, if she had gone for rocks on the previous turn, goes for the iron defense. It's fine. If she had gone for rocks on the previous turn, then it would have allowed. No, I think not much really changes. But. I think even body press isn't going to be uh, the strongest here. I mean, it, if it didn't KO, that that would have been nuts. It, I mean, it would have been payback for the para, but oh well. That's going to be what it is. What I really want to do... Actually, no, that's... That maybe works, because... It allows my it allows my Primarina to lock into Windblast, but that doesn't matter, right? I think I do this. I think I do this, and. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I don't think I can win this, but I can potentially bring this down quite a... Oh, no. Why did I do that? I was just talking about locking into Moonblast. I don't know. I just I just wasn't thinking. I just wasn't thinking. Honestly, if, if the Zerud comes in, then then that's a mildly free Serena switch in. I don't... I, I'm not entirely sure what Zerud does, really, but I don't think the match is going to ride on an extra turn of rocks damage. If it does, then, I don't know. Huge misplay, obviously, but... If anything, it, I guess it just incentivizes... No, there's no there's no real justification. Just, in every situation... In every situation, um... Serena would have been better. I don't know. There's there's nothing really I can do. I think I'm gonna get overgrowthed potentially, and it just sucks because I because Serena could potentially win it if I had another sack in the back, right? Because um, I need to be able to U-turn the the, the but other than that, um, Serena theoretically manages everything else on the team. So I don't know. It's 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 problematic. I definitely. Should have called it better with with that. Um, I mean, we should take one, right? We should take. We should be better. Okay, that's a yikes. I don't. I really don't want to get confused. I get confused. Okay, it's fine. Is that a hundred percent confusion? I, I don't even think it is. I think it's like a thirty percent confusion. Regardless, um, this might actually end up being U-turn range. If it's U-turn range, right? Then. If it's U-turn range, oh, was that a crit? No. Okay. Um, get the max mind storm right. So, what I'm thinking here is then it would come down to Serena taking a single hit from the Haxorus, because if well, I mean, obviously, if I can lock into 
if Serena could lock into U-turn, then maybe Serena could win it. I think the well between poison damage and between poison damage and two U-turns. Oh, sorry. Between poison and life orb damage, maybe I could get there. And Zarud obviously. Zarud almost definitely goes down, right? I'd be amazed. I mean, I guess Zarud could be tank a berry, I guess. But if Serena takes one single hit from a life orbed. Oh, so here. So, okay, so, here, so this is kind of crazy, right? If it is outraged, then I think I take a hit. If it's Dragon Claw, if it's only Dragon Claw, then I think I take a hit. In comes a Haxorus, gets poisoned. Um, I really needed a, li a little bit more chip damage on onto the Haxorus, but uh, it's not impossible here. It's not impossible here. Uh, cause. There's the U-turn. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, it's impossible. Oh, and, and the poison jab. All right, yeah, no, the poison jab definitely sealed it. But um, I definitely blundered some pieces, right? So I definitely blundered. Um, I, I I don't like the way that I played my Weezing, and I don't like the way that I um, I don't like the way that I played my Cinderace. Obviously, uh, Cinderace could have been a lot better. Um, and making me play those games with the rest and the, and the if if I never switch into Cinderace into the type null. Then, then Weezing just KOs the type Null outright, and I have a full HP Cinderace, and he has to bring in something that is going to probably get Rocket Helmet damage off, that I'm probably going to get Rocket Helmet damage off on. Yeah, no, that was the biggest misplay. That was 100% that was the biggest misplay. I guess, I guess I think that if I didn't make that play, if I just taken the type Null that was offered to me by just attacking with, with the Weezing, then I could have potentially won, but I really wanted to make the huge, huge play by calling the rest, getting Cinderace in, getting high jump kicks off, and then I think I went outright from there. I made a really, really risky play. It didn't pay off, but uh, I don't think I played that one too badly. I think getting used to the team, I really liked the way that, that Serena in interacted with the team. I really liked a lot of the pressure that I was able to put on. I really liked um, a lot of things that, that were going on with that team. It just... Um, I think it really culminated with that Cinderace play that really just didn't go my way. But uh, with that, that's going to be week one of the GDL. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the GDL with um, a brand new doubles league coming really, really soon. It'll be my very first doubles league ever. Um, I played a decent amount of VGC, but uh, this will be my first doubles league ever. And please do stay tuned for that as well. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.